favourites of Falk and Clare, meeting for the 37th time in the Championship. Nicely inside, caught by Alan Brown. Always in the net! Alan Brown, this is a good move here. German Lee, looking for another goal! Clare looking for scores. Good ball inside. That's stopped by Timmy Kelleher. But still Joe Lachlan persisting. And Lachlan has scored! Waiting for it, however, is Mark Ballas. Here's a chance of an equaliser. Wonderful hook by Frank Lowen. Still the second. Just another wonderful hook by Lowen. Fed inside towards Alan Brown. Brown there. And that's a big net! Cork lead by two points. Here's a very good chance. It's a goal! It's a goal! So Clare now lead dramatically. It's all over! And Clare have won! Clare stay nicely in touch. They won't worry, I'm sure, about the standard of play if they can win after all the long, barren years of failure. Downfield to Stephen McNamara. is on his way for Clare against Leverick inside here. It's going to be a penalty, I think. And David Fitzgerald may well be coming up to take it. David Fitzgerald, here's the goal chance for him for Clare. He scored! 28 minutes into the first half. And now he's racing back, and the puck has been taken. Will he win his race? Play continues. So this is when he couldn't possibly miss, and indeed he didn't. Drove it with great authority and power past the three-man defence. Out comes Connor Clancy, scoring chance once again. It's over! What a play for Clare! The 63-year gap that Clare has waited to take the Monster Cup. Fergal Hagerty, aware that he might have been hooked, going for the score. It's there! We're inside the last minute. The curse of Biddy Early is about to finish. Well, Clare have won it! They came, they believed, they knew they could conquer. There's colour, there's excitement, there's everything we could wish for on the first Sunday in September. So who's it to be in the 1995 Guinness All-Ireland Final? Billy Dooley's final ball in there, missed by Brian Lowen in a typical fashion, and that's John Troy. Oh, let's go! Johnny Pilkington, right on the spot, 19 minutes into the second half. But it's still a tight enough match, only three minutes to go, and you remember what happened last year. That free is swung in there, batted down by the goalkeeper. It's a goal! It's a goal by Eva Trapp! Clare are in front! A clear goal! Great credit to Clare for coming back into the game that they were out of. Here's the 65 from Anthony Daly. Where's it going? Over the bar! The captain has put his side in front, and Clare are just about to win! They've won! Clare have won the All-Ireland! A tribute to determination and no little craft. Willie Barrett gets it underway and the most eagerly championship match of the season awaited so far here. The players are going to lose a couple of pounds out there because it is so sticky. Real barbecue weather. Jamesy right on the sideline and that's gone over the bar. That's an amazing point. So the team's level for the fourth time in this Guinness Monster Championship match. It's a real battle here in Limerick, this one. On towards Gary Kirby, is he going to go for a goal? Gary Kirby hitting it and scoring! It was a wonderful long ball. He had support, he didn't need it, and he crushed a brilliant goal. And Limerick have the lead once more. And the crowd now raising the decibel level, getting behind the two teams. So much at stake for amateur players. Lovely pose, and he puts it over the bar. And Clare lead by a point. It's tough, but then winning the All-Ireland is never meant to be easy. Three men after him. And that's a fine score. Still a lot of tension around here. Clare wondering, can they hold on to their title? A clip back, and Gary Kirby has put it over the bar. Has a yes. We're in injury time. Here on Limerick. Been urged on. Barry Foley. It's high. It's over the bar. Level for the ninth time. What a match. Is there much time left? Here comes Kieran Carey. Carey leading the charge of the Light Brigade. 45.
25 metres out. Here's a chance to score. He's put it high. He's put it over. And the All Ireland champions out. Our Limerick to advance to the Munster final. The fans, the subs are ready to come in. Doesn't go next to near them. Target. But it doesn't matter. It's all over. Limerick have won. But what a what a match. What a finish. Clare are out of the championship. Raise so much colour, so much to look forward to, and let's hope the players can respond accordingly. Captain Ryan looking for the opening point and producing it. Cross towards John, and he took it in his stride. Looks good. That's got him on the bar. Over the head of Mike Nash, Conrad by Declan Ryan. Support from Cahill, a goal here. He's buried it. Liam Cahill laying it outside for Ryan. Another chance and another score. So the first half here ends, and Tipperary supporters will be very, very pleased indeed. Limerick looking for that break, and Mike Gallagher has got that break, and he's put it over the bar. Slowly but surely, they ease into Tipperary's half-time lead of ten points. Awkward angle, George Friend trying to get in a challenge, the shot has got set in the bar. It's an all-point for Limerick! It's now just a one-point game. He's got there, he's distributed as far as Ryan. Will this be the equaliser? Tommy Don with the shot, the angle shot, drops into the arms of Joe Quaid, and it's all over, and they both live to fight another day, which I think is a fair result. This is one of the great days in Irish sport, let's hope now the match can live up to that billing. The Wexford may have got the first point, but that's the only one they've got so far. Knocked in there, Larry Murphy's in there, challenging Tom Dempsey's well, and it's a goal for Wexford. Tom Dempsey scored. Wexford are back in front. A booming one down towards Gary Lappin. Mike Nash in trouble back there, needing assistance. It's Gary Lappin. Can he swing the stick? He can. It's a great stop. It should have been the second goal of the game. Back with the action, which is what we've come to see. And again, the referee has the notebook out, and this time it's Eamon Scallon. Oh, he sent him off. We've had so much drama here. Wexford are down to 14 players. The game is tied up. There's noticeable tension all over this ground. Look at the faces. And it's all over, is it? It's all over. There was no time left. And Wexford are the champions. They've won their sixth All Ireland final. The team of 68 can take a back seat. It's now about the men of 96. Wexford are the All Ireland hurling champions. Start of the 102nd ever Leinster hurling final. Kilkenny going for a 55th title. Straight towards Andy Comerford. Comerford across towards PJ Delaney, who's uh, taking Jer Kosh out of position curiously straight away. Going for the point himself. A rasping shot. Stonehouse has found the target. And Kilkenny has taken the lead. Billy Byrne then about to come in for his 31st championship game. When in crisis, Billy comes in. The face of Liam Dunn from Aulard the Ballot. Wexford champions twice in recent years. Down it goes in towards Billy Byrne with his first touch. Can he score? the last year that uh, Wexford beat Kilkenny in the Leinster final. Here comes Billy Byrne again. The wonderful super sub. 2-14 to win the game. And the 109th final is underway. A first ever for these fans to watch two Munster teams play in an All-Ireland decider. All in there after it. Tough physical confrontations. Anticipation by Ollie Baker. Coming bursting through the centre, an accurate shot and it's gone over the bar. Our tip to get the revenge. Gets the break of the ball back down to it from Tommy Dunn. And John Lally looking for his first score of the uh, second score of the second half. Only first, what's coming and he's kicked it in. There is a goal in this match. In 
it's Liam Cahill, right on the edge, but he booted it to the back of the net. It's a minute to go. James e. O'Connor, will this be the winner? And it may be! James e. O'Connor, a clear lead by a solitary score. What a response to the goal. Here's Lahey at the other end. It's stopped, it's saved, it's a great save. The referee's decision here will be keenly awaited. He's going to... Uh, it's all over! Champions once again, there are the champions. All eyes on Wexford, winners of the All-Ireland title, of course, back in 1996. So far, a tight, tough physical battle. Oh, it's gone off the goal line, and Damien Fitzhenry gets away with it. Only a point in it. Brian Wheeler has the 65. We're inside the last minute. He drops it in. They go for glory and get a goal. Here they do! Offley has come again! Celebration time for the Offley team. Is this the match winner? What a shot here. Down it came, and it was forced in by Johnny Dooley. It's now down to the referee. The match is almost into injury time. Babs Keating's Offley are just edging it against Rory Kinsella's Wexford. And it's all over, and it's Offaly who win, and Offaly are true to the Leinster final. And will Offaly be the ones who will come through and take the title? Many people fancy them. Others say you can never write off a kill any team. Two great rivals here in Leinster in this all Leinster Ireland final. Hubert Rigney. Sun in his eyes at this stage, and the rest of the Offaly backs. Charlie Carter coming in here. It's down! Hubert Rigney's there. So too is Johnny Pilton, and it comes out to Andy Comerford, blocked down by Kevin Martin. Back to Comerford once again. Very awkward, and a second great block down by Kevin Martin. Now it's Charlie Carter. Simon Wheeler with another block. Three in a row from two Offaly backs. Really fired up. Troy going short this time, inside towards Brian Wheelham. Now it's from forward, and that's over the bar. John Troy, nicely on towards John Ryan. Nicely in here towards Eredy, the man who got the goal earlier on. Coming forward again, missing it this time, and it's a goal! Brian Wheelham has done it! Brian Wheelham has made it 2.15 to 113 with two minutes to go. Down again, Hubert Rigney, it's all over, and Offaly are the All-Ireland hurling champions for 1998. Tip, as you see, first out here, and they today presented with the absolute challenge to fashion a victory over the team of the 90s. This is David Ford. Looking for the first score of the match, David Ford, a huge one in, and it sails over the bar. Good work by Shelley, getting there ahead of Brian Lowen, and Shelley's shot is stopped over the bar by David Fitzgerald. He's out to Niall Gilligan, Gilligan has support over there, that's James O'Connor, James O'Connor! Shelley gets away from his man, it's Paul Shelley winning the race against Frank Lowen, can he get a goal here? Oh, it's a great save, and it's gone out for a 65. Gilligan with a late chance, inside towards Clancy, can he go back? Championship of 1999, Davey Fitzgerald has come all the way up the field. If this goes in, I think it's going to be a replay. Claire must get a goal here. David Fitzgerald has scored! How much time is left? It's all over! The teams were level ten times in a wonderful contest. Listen to the noise the crowd is making here. Fantastic. It's frantic in the early stages as you anticipate. The early pressure is being exerted by Cork. That's Fergal McCormick. Mc McGrath got back and it's Dean! It was a real speculative one. Little seemed on. So now a body blow to Clare. Clare 
are trying to turn this match around. And that is Ollie Baker. And that's a super start. Real encouraging stuff now from the Munster champions. And they're now within four points of Cork. What a finish to the game we're getting here. Full of drama, full of commitment, full of excitement. Back towards Ryan once again, blocked out again this time. On it runs towards Connor Clancy, inside as well as Alan Markham. Markham is dragged down, there's a free in for Clare, and here's where they can draw level. And this is taken by David Ford, and it's gone wide. Can you believe it? A 20 metre free for David Ford, but there are about two and a half minutes still to play. It's all over! Cork have taken back the Munster Cup for the first time since 1992. And Jimmy Barry Murphy must be an absolutely elated coach. The 112 for Ireland hurling final gets underway in the rain at Croke Park. Landers the captain, striking and then putting it over the bar. Well, they've been the greatest of rivals, but bear in mind that since the 1960s, Cork have lost five of the last six finals against Kilkenny. Into open space to Shawnee McGrath. McGrath with his chance to get a point, and he's done exactly that. And about three points between these teams. Comes out towards Shawnee McGrath. Angle getting tighter the whole time. Umpires have a right good look at it, he's put it over the bar. He's got another one. Looking for enough room. Gets enough room, gets enough accuracy on it as well, and Cork take the lead. He's 50 metres out. This time he takes great care and hits it with great accuracy. Kilkenny trying to prevent defeat in the final for the second year in a row. Kilkenny looking for a chance, but the referee has whistled, it's all over, and Cork are the All-Ireland hurling champions for 1999. There was only a point in it. Welcome back to Leeside, Lee McCarthy, we've missed you a lot! But this is something special for us Irish people, this is unique, this is incredible. Nowhere on this planet are you going to see a game like this today, it's special. Well, it's tight, it's tense, and it's a very intense match as well. The temporary penalty is saved. Dearborn O'Sullivan got the stick to it, it's cleared out by Fergal Ryan. Mark O'Leary played in towards Paul Shelley. O'Sullivan leaps in the air. Frank O'Brien comes after him. Eugene O'Neill is in there as well. O'Neill has got it and he's got a goal. Now you can listen to the crowd. Excited by what they're seeing down there. Up towards Shelley. Lovely break of the ball to Tommy Dunn. Tommy's now in right half forward. Red Sherlock's after him. Brilliant shot. Oh, it's in. Won't see better than that anywhere else today. Being away from him in Corcoran. Inside towards Alan Brown once more. Brown striking it and putting it over the back. Magnificent point. Now we're hurting Joe. And again it's Dean. What a classy player. To Shawnee McGrath. And McGrath's put this one over the bar. Tip who have missed two penalties. They were saved. Here comes Eugene O'Neill. Inside it goes to Tommy Dunn. A brilliant goal. This one. All eyes on the referee. Can Tip get the ball back? Can they score again? Can they turn it into a draw? Cork want to score of their own to put daylight between them and McGrath strikes it. That's a bit more like the dream he'd have had as a youngster. It's all over and Cork are the Guinness Monster Hurling champions for the second year in succession. So awfully wondering. Can they get another All-Ireland title? Remember, Kilkenny have 25 so far. Offaly, four. Back in towards Henry Shefflin. Three against two in there. Cappy fumbles. DJ's on his way. DJ Carey. Great goal. DJ Carey was anticipating, showed lightning pace and a dashing finish. That was as emphatic as they come. Here they come with John Hoyne. Surprise choice inside for Henry Shefflin. Bearing it in goal again. Stopped on the line. And it's in. DJ and Henry Shefflin were close at hand. This is a terrible start by Offaly. There's DJ, and there is another score. What about that for a point, Joe? What about that for a point? And here comes DJ Carey. DJ Carey. Oh, saved, and it's whipped in in the end, but it's another goal, and it's Charlie Carter this time. That's a great strike. Good save, but punished by Charlie Carter. It's curious, you know, Kilkenny have only created one more scoring chance than Offaly. 30 to 29. Oh. And yet they are running away with this final. There's another, and it sails over the bar. And it's 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 the, the, the referee's whistle goes, and Kilkenny have won the first hurling final of the new millennium.
draw. Great sense of anticipation. Great lively start to this. Excellent hurling. Clem Smith whipping it back into the centre. Adrian Fenlon there, benefiting from that slack pass. Driving it high, driving it well, and driving it over the bar. Rory McCarthy going to meet it, but it comes back instead to Paul O'Grady. O'Grady sending it in there. Harry Foley. Loads of drama. Fitzhenry striking. It's going. He's going to run 100 metres as fast as ever as he can. We have everything in this game. Here's Moran. Back to Kieran Carey. So cool, so short. Such a great bit of vision here to pick out the unmarked Paul O'Grady. And it's over the ball. The Lumbrick Dogs are crying. They're out of their seats. This one runs on. Rory McCarthy trying to run in. He's dragged down. It has to be a free in. But now all eyes on this man here, Damien Fitzhenry, under a minute to play, his team behind, he strikes it, and he gets it out! A second penalty goal for Wexford! What a finish! And the referee's whistle sound, it's all over, and Wexford have won as dramatic a game in the championship as you could witness. Three weeks from final day itself, there's a lot of tension about, and it's already getting physical in midfield, even before the ball is thrown in. Eugene Clunan for Math and Rye. A goal, it's just about, it's gone all the way in. It's a goal. He was going for a point. What a start for Galway. Galway, get it back. It's Mark Kerrans this time. Loved in towards Rabbit, trying to hoof it on somehow. Clonan trying to get inside. JJ Delaney, it's Clonan, he's kicked it, he's scored! Kilkenny are going to have to produce something now. Taken away by Kevin Broderick. The pacey Broderick. It's like it's an egg and spoon race. He's taking it forward adventurously. Lovely skill getting it over Kennedy. And what a pause. Oh, Gerald, that is fantastic. He has travelled 45 yards, weaving his way through. Up over a man coming from you. Won't see better than that. This guy is on fire. Kilkenny looking demoralised. The referee is calling for the ball. It's all over. Galway have knocked out the defending champions. And they're in the Guinness All-Ireland Hurling Final for 2001. Let's see how it goes. We're looking for a good one in this 2001 Guinness All-Ireland Hurling Final. It's going to be interesting to see how the two Cairns brothers perform this afternoon. That's Tommy Dunn. That's a huge one from Dunn, and that's good over the ball. He really is a wonderful, stylish hurler, and he's got the first of the day here. Oh, that's got all the way in. Chances here, first chance. Take a look at Mark O'Leary. Mark O'Leary comes in. It's virtually his first touch of the match, and he crashes it back. Will Tip hang on? Can Galway come back? There's still a few more seconds. Galway need to win this ball. Greg Kennedy comes out for it. There's the final. All Ireland hurling champions for 2001. This was some moment of jubilation, <laughs> ecstasy. The moment when Tipperary realised they had won back the Liam McCarthy Cup. They are the premier county in hurling. Ben O'Connor going through, hooked. Still the pressure is on. Timmy McCarthy picking it up, going for the score. It's swept in and it's Alan Brown. Within a minute, nothing between the teams really. Jimmy O'Sullivan beats the attempted block there by Mark Foley, and that's over the bar. What an amazing point from an amazing player. Well, they went point for point in the early stages of the match, then Limerick established a lead, but it's been eaten into completely. A full recovery now by the Rebels. Ben O'Connor, and a sweeping shot by O'Connor. Jimmy O'Sullivan keeping a watchful eye on this one. Stephen Lucy seems to have moved inside into the inside forward line. Limerick have a chance here. A late shot opportunity, and it's gone over the bar. Cork still with a chance. Ben O'Connor. Two men about to block him. Ben O'Connor is hit it over the bar. 
Cork are in front and the referee's whistle has sounded and Cork have won an epic. They've done it in the 70 minutes. Waterford looking for a first success in the Munster final for 29 years. Tip the hottest of favourites. Nicely inside here towards Owen McGrath. Little brother of Ken. And he's won the free. Should be a point here. Oh, it's a goal! And he went for a jump. He went for it. And Waterford are leading the match by a point. Nicky looks very worried. Stephen Brenner from the De La Salle club. That is a huge free. All the way down towards Sherry Prendergast. And here's a chance. And that's a goal by Tony Brown. The 18th minute of the match in the second half. This has to be the, the day that Waterford are going to win their first Munster title for 29 years. And they said the famine was over. The famine is now over. Waterford are the Munster hurling champions. First time since 1963. Don Maxidna gets this match underway. The greatest of rivals hoping now to provide us with a feast of good hurling. A chance here, it's three against two by the goalkeeper. Spooned outside there towards Owen Kelly, trying to turn inside the cover of Philly Larkin and again shows us what a fantastic sharp shooter he is. Some decent ball in as far as Martin Comerford back out to Henry Shefflin who was 45 metres out from the target when he struck it over the bar. Great work again here by DJ Carey, taking on Costello. It's still DJ Carey, will he go the whole way through? Laying it off, and the sub has scored! Kilkenny sweep into the lead, and it's DJ who made it. Might have gone through himself, and where he might be hooped, they're all after him, and Coogan belted it into the net. Is the match running away from Tipperary? Having lost their Munster title, are they now about to lose the All-Ireland title run in such memorable fashion last year? DJ comes through, and he puts it over, and Kilkenny now surely are in the All-Ireland final. This is what every hurling fan surely dreams about. Every player wants to play in the big one. Henry Shefflin. What a battle he's going to have with Sean McMahon. It's starting already. Thundering forward. Looking for the opening score. It's a goal! What a start that is. Sweeping it out towards Andy Comerford. It's tight. It's close. It's intense. DJ Carey. The Dodger himself. After him there was Ollie Baker. DJ steadying himself, turning it in beautifully and putting it over the bar and he's now got a goal and four points. He's a genius and I do have to say, he just won't replace this fight. But can you know, watch this, he's, he can't catch it again, just steadies up, rattles it off the cuff. A beautiful score on the volley. Back there is Brian Lowen, partly blocked. Swept inside, dangerous ball, Shefflin! Henry Shefflin, 28 minutes spawn in the second half. And that should be enough. Every All-Ireland final turns up a real hero, a real star. And DJ, even though he's knocked in the back by Shawnee McMahon, gets in his shot and he's put it over the bar. Great performance by Kilkenny. I don't think there's much in it. The referee is calling for the ball. It's all over. Kilkenny are very deserving champions. Well, what a day for Andy. Kissing the cup, taking it proudly home. Both sides fired up for the match. Dropping it inside. Difficult one, Satanto helping, has it awkward angle, it's a goal! Mokahi touching it down, coming in here and striking it brilliantly into the back of the net. He's on fire at the moment. Their strategy is working. They're eager, they're fit looking, they're ready for the fray. To Milan! Goal! It worked, Joe. Yeah. Paul Flynn was brave enough to do it. Give it to Milan, he stuck it in the net. The cop guys are having a chat on the goal line. Awkward, right on the end line. Brown! It's a thriller. It's a fantastic score. Now Cochran in the driving seat. Walter would have to answer that. To Milan! Oh, another one! The hat-trick man has done it! 
He hit it venomously. It was a beauty. He's bought water right back in the game again, just when the scene to be gone out of it. Who's going to win the Munster Cup for 2003? Green is under pressure from Dean. A goal! This, Joe Dean. This game is out in Joe. Cork have scored a victory. And Cork are champions of Munster for the fourth. fully focused on this All-Ireland quarter-final, defending well, chance of a point here, this one floating in, well kept in, outside to the corner, forward, and a goal for Anton, what a start! There might be some question of a square ball here, the umpire is calling in the referee. And the goal is cancelled, Kieran Heron has already scored a point, and he is with Lord Jarrick. more famous for his football, this drops in and Mitch Henry misses it! This time, the umpires have no doubt. Richmond wants it outside. McFall decides to cross it. Dangerous, another chance of another goal. Are we in line for one of the shocks of 2003? McGrath's inside, there's a chance of a goal here. McGrath's inside once, and he's in the back of the net. Here's Larry, being chased by Michael McCambridge. Larry turns away, knowing that the white flag is going to be raised. Once again, Paul Codd has taken off the helmet. Is that a signal? Six Antrim players, and they fail to stop it. Wexford are back in business, and they win by three. It's Wexford in the All-Ireland Senior Hurling semi-final. Coming to try and take possession is Tom Kenny. Kenny hand passes it to another wing back, Sean Ogohalpine. A minute to go now, we're in the out of time, remember. 71 minutes played. Cork with possession to Alan Brown. Brown making an angle, making a shot and making a point! That Two could... points for Alan Brown and that may be enough. Only a goal can save Damien Fitzhenry's team. We've played the two minutes of added time. So from this puck out, Wexford have to get a goal to tie the match. Alan Brown's last point puts three between them. Between Fenlon and Ronan Curran. Tom Kenny coming to it. And here it is with Mitch Jordan fed ahead there to the man. A goal and it's Rory McCarthy to level. It's a, a comeback. Fantastic score, Joe. Great ball. I'd say this is going to go to a replay. Wexford fight back valiantly with great determination. They knew exactly what they had to do. And Rory McCarthy could be their saviour. And it's all over. It goes to a replay. It's got to be tough. It's got to be hard. It's got to be physical. But we hope it's going to be very, very fair. Into the danger area. Dowling trying to get it out. It's switched by Omara. Going around Ryle, 20 metres out, hand passing out to Gleeson, and Connor Gleeson has tapped it over the bar. Huge free. Pressure on the backs. Hoeing coming in. Brennan never available. Still dangerous. Goal! It's coming for a while, Joe. Eddie Just... Brennan, third time of asking, has whipped it into the back of the net. Huge run in, everybody's after it. Cummins rubs it, Brennan's after it. Shefflin comes back up a slipper of a post, comes out to Tommy Walsh. The shot comes back this time off Paul Curran. Still it's Kilkenny. And it's stopped again by Cummins. Comes out to Walsh. What a sequence, what a save again. Back to Walsh again. And it's a goal eventually by Tommy Walsh. Four shots saved by Brendan Cummins. It's Monster versus Leinster in the final. Kilkenny overwhelmed Tipperary here. A convincing win. What an outpouring of emotion. Cork and Kilkenny have met at this stage in the championship more often than any other pairing. 18 times in all. But very competitive at this stage of the contest. Will it be Donal O'Grady's crown? Sherlock put under pressure. And Coverford swings, touches the air with delight because he knows it's on target. Good play away by J.J. Delaney. And Dermot O'Sullivan loses the stick, but he's a footballer, come a hurler, and takes them all on. But it's a day when you just need to remain calm and disciplined.
James Wilde, not standing his ground, and once again it's a down to Halpin, and he scores! Santa Claus has delivered, Joe, he's trapped in all day. His first score of the day here. Good ball inside, intended for Conor Phelan. Runs on to Henry Shefflin, can Kenny have a man over? It's Martin Comerford, he balances and he strikes, and he scores! It could be the crucial goal of the game. Dermot O'Sullivan is running forward to Joe Dean. Here he is into the equation, trying to steam what roll his way through. Stopped by Peter Barry. Kilkenny with possession and Kilkenny with the title. The champions have retained the McCarthy Cup.